Here, the face from beyond slips in. Dave and I are so lucky. We have our beautiful friends over here with us. Whoops, and Beth Page. So um, we're all vaccinated, but I have 24 hours to go to my 14 day of what to call it ripening. So here we are. But welcome, friends. Welcome to Trinity Sunday, and mm. we offer a special welcome to those who are joining us on Twitch and YouTube. No matter where. Or when you join us, the Holy Spirit links us all together. So a quick heads up, if um, when we pray together, the normal internet delays on Zoom create a kind of poppy cacophony. So just roll with it. Don't worry about it. Keep praying. Dave will be monitoring the Twitch chat. So um, please feel free to join in the conversation and the prayer. And now let's take a deep breath together mm -hmm. and... Our own beloved Reverend Lori Harrington will lead us today. Blessed are you, God, creator of the universe. Let your word, energy burst forth into existence and come to us as light. You create day and night, you roll away the light before the darkness. And the darkness before the light. Blessed are you, O God. For you bring your light to our world, for you bring on the evening twilight. In the name of Abba, God our Creator, and of Jesus our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen. The grace of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also Almighty and ancient God, you are ever present and you are our light. It is through you and with you that we are many lights within your brilliant creation. You call us all to be faithful we have come together as a community to welcome your spirit and to praise you for the many and varied gifts your children hold within themselves. Gifts that, as within a circle, come back to you and to your church. You are you alone. Alone. You are alone. 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 You are alone. wisdom. This beautiful day may all be welcome in the name of the three in one. Coming together as God's family, let us confess all that prevents true harmony, the times when we have lost our way, the wounding times when we have caused division, the cold times of our love. So may we find peace with each other, peace with the world, and peace with God. Oh God. Great spirit of compassion, you accept and welcome us as we are, with our light and our shadow. Yeah. Yet you also call us to the fullness of life in you. May we know the forgiveness that frees us, the courage that owns our responsibilities, the truth that releases us from ignorance, and the love that heals. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And, and peace, peace to God's people on earth. Sovereign God, 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 God,
Come, God of the poor, come, light of our hearts, come, voice of the silence, come, generous spirit. By the comfort of your presence within us, by the wind of your spirit, now in this place, inspire and encourage us to become joyful to this celebration. Okay, the voice from beyond. As this is our Prince of Peace custom, we're going to um, open up our liturgy of the word with Greek for the week. So the goal is not to answer questions, but to read them. So today's word comes from the gospel, and we, we you can, um, you'll recognize it because we transliterate it directly into English. It's baptizo, right, for baptize. And in Greek, it obviously means to immerse. The original meaning is to immerse or plunge. So the question, I guess, is what does Jesus mean when he asks us to immerse, to plunge into this, this new life? So let's hear the word of God. Okay. Lily is going to do our first reading. Awesome, Lily. A uh, reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, ask now of the days of of the days of upon the earth, ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was God speaking from the midst of the fire as you did and live, or did God venture to and take a nation for himself from the midst of another from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war with his strong hand and outreached arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord, your God, did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on the earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoy on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm today is excerpts from Psalm 33. And the response is, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed be the Lord and Lord, 
our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The second reading is from Romans eight fourteen through 17. Brothers and sisters, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit. We are the children, we are children of God. And if children, they're, they're heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. This is God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. The teachings of Jesus Christ as recorded in Matthew. The 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. This is the gospel of the risen Christ. Glory and Glory praise. 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 Recording in progress. I've been thinking for weeks about what to say at Mass today. And this is what I came up with. Today is the feast of everything. Everything we believe is based on the Trinity. The incarnation is a Trinitarian event. All our sacraments and Trinitarian operations, all of our liturgies began and end with an invocation of the Trinity. And more, look out the window, everything that you see, you hear, you smell, the sky, the trees, moving in the wind, the rain, the songs of birds, the neighbor's children playing, the smell of cut grass, the barbecue next door. All of this is the direct, personal, intimate action of the life-creating Trinity. When we say God is love, we are talking about the Trinity. The Trinity is a whirling, burning vortex of love, sending out sparks of cosmic life and drawing all things back into its heart. There is no end of, to things that we can say about the Trinity, yet there is nothing to say. So let's take a few minutes just to sit here and feel the presence of its life. Recording stopped.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us profess our faith. We believe, we believe and trust in, in one God, the Almighty, maker of the earth and the cosmos, <clears throat> of all that is visible and invisible, known and unimaginable. We believe and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ firstborn of God is one in being with Abba, and that through Christ all things were made. We believe that for the salvation of us all, he came down from heaven, and that by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became flesh. We believe that Jesus was crucified for our sake, that under Pontius Pilate he suffered, died, and was buried, rising three days later as promised in the Holy Scriptures. We believe, we believe in the Christ. That Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at God's right hand, ready to return in glory. He will judge the living and the dead, and God's reign will have no end. We believe in the Christ. In the Holy Spirit, the giver of life and inspiration of the prophets, who comes forth from the Father, with the Father and the Son, she is worshipped and glorified. We invite in one universal apostolic church, that one baptism washes away our sins and brings us to new life in Christ. We believe in the promised resurrection of the dead, and our eternal life in the new Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. As we are open to the light of the Spirit, let us go where our hearts call us, that we may offer prayers for blessings needed and give thanks for blessings received. I'd like to say thanks be to God for... Um, that I'm okay. I had a really bad fall. I was in the ER, ER for several hours, but um, nothing broken. Um, some pain <laughs> lingering, but it could have been a whole lot worse. So, you know, just thank you, gracious God, for oh, for holding me and not letting me fall too hard. We pray. Oh, Jesus, hear our prayer. In Thanksgiving for uh, the nice visit after about 18 months <laughs> of uh, Honor and Lily and, and Trisha and her little boy, uh, Cameron. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus hear our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, for the gift of hope as uh, the vaccine is rolled out. I'm so grateful. Thank you for my dear friend Bill sitting at my own table. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Please help us to, to find better ways to be together after the pandemic. But this year of 18 months separations like what Lori and Joe and Lily experienced, help us to come back better than before. We pray. Jesus, 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 Jesus. prayer. And Lord Jesus, we remember George Floyd and all those, well, as many as we know, we don't know them all, all those who die, needless, violent deaths. We know that you hold the moment of our death in your hands and that you were with this beloved child of yours. We ask that you bring his soul, his spirit, his very essence ever more deeply into the joy of your presence, we pray. Jesus. We praise and thank you for the abundance of your grace, looking to the gathering together of us all in the fullness of the love of Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus told us that before we offer our gifts at the altar, 
we should make peace with our brothers and sisters. With Christ as the author of all peace, let us offer a sign of Christ's peace to each other. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to choose to share in our humanity. With heart, with heart, with heart, with thanks and praise to you, living God, in the communion the communion of your heart, and we come to see you. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, melech ha'olam, ha'motzel nechabim ha'aretz, boreh pri hagatet. Blessed are you, God, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the harvest of the fields and the fruit of the vine to offer which the earth has given and human hands have made into bread and wine. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed are we also, as we offer ourselves to you, your authority, the and the world. Living God, giver of all holiness, you enter the empty places of our hearts and bring your light into our darkness. You take uh, the broken pieces of our lives and restore us to a new creation. You bring saving the Lord With the holy angels of light and with the holy company of heaven, with those who have gone before us and with those who shall come after, with brothers and sisters east and west, and with our loved ones separate from us now, who yet in this mystery are close to us. We join in the realization of your unending greatness. Oh. Holy, 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 God of power, God of might, and the heaven and earth are full of your glory. Is that the name of the Lord? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Abba God, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts and make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before Christ was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He gave, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat it. This is my body, which is now broken and given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink of it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It is shed for you and for all that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. As we celebrate these holy mysteries, may we and all for whom we pray be open to the glory of your presence, the beauty of your song, the healing power of your love. For without you, we are as nothing, and our lives are empty and dim. 
by the power of the Holy Sacrament. Turn us. 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 Abba, remember those who take part in this offering. Remember Joe, our late founding bishop, Kate and Catherine, our bishops, and bishops, clergy, and those in formation everywhere. Remember 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 our friends and loved ones who have passed through the veil. In baptism, they died with Christ. May they also share in Christ's resurrection. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this bread, which we break in your name. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this cup, which is set before us. May the sacrament be for us the bread of heaven and the cup of salvation. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Our glory, glory, and our Jesus taught us to call God our Abba, our loving parent, with confidence. Let us pray to God in the way Jesus taught us, as described, recorded in Matthew and Luke. Our Our Abba, 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 Free us, O God, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. May our mercy keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Holy God, holy and holy strong, strong holy, holy, holy and emerging, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Holy God, Lamb of God, grant us your peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith and love, and mercy, 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 and Jesus, we are welcome to welcome and receive you. Give us the gifts that make us whole. And everyone who is watching on Twitch or later on YouTube, may you also be blessed by the body and blood of Christ. Amen. 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 A lot of Christ. You, you can drink it, it's grape juice. It's grape juice.
Lord, may we receive these gifts in purity of heart. In thankfulness, let us offer praise. So may we in all creation give of ourselves that life may be complete and we may enter the fellowship which is both human and divine, temporal and eternal. Beloved family, let us ask for God's blessings. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the Prince of Peace to you. May the strength of God guide us this day. May God's power preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the eye of God watch over us. The ear of God hear us. The word of God give gentleness to our, as to our speech. May the hand of God defend us. Amen. Amen. And may Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, who is here and who is holy, bless and keep you now and forever. Amen. 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 Our celebration has ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve God and one another. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everybody, okay. for your patience, especially, you know, with Zoom and Twitch and YouTube. It's such a joy to be together. So now, friends on Zoom, let's wave goodbye and see you later to our friends on Twitch and YouTube.